Okay, I'm uh, Council Member Mike McCurdo. Welcome you to another edition of the Delaware District Council update. I'm here today with Alex Cornwell from Community Canvases. And why don't we start by uh, Alex with you telling us a little bit about your group. Okay, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. And uh, Community Canvases uh, started out as a way to address graffiti within the city and it's quickly become an answer to allowing artists to participate in community development. So not only do their projects have uh, the value of being on uh, pieces of infrastructure that would normally be the targets of graffiti, but they also get to develop the community and uh, have a radiant effect on the neighborhoods around them. So, so we'll talk a, a little bit about work we that you guys did in the Delaware District uh, and Elmwood Avenue, but uh, I understand that this is, this is not the first uh, work you've done like this, and uh, I think you have plans to do it in some other places too. So why don't you tell us about uh, what you've already done and, and where you hope to go from here? Our first round of the project started on Tonawanda Street in Riverside, and that was uh, 10 different artists doing 10 different traffic signal boxes that are the sites of graffiti. They did 10 different themes that represent the area, a lot of the themes relate to the waterfront. Uh, so the Elmwood project, which was jointly funded by you and Council Member Rivera, uh, takes place between Forest Street and North Street on Elmwood and is 13 boxes doing sort of the same thing with an Elmwood feel to the art. Uh, and we only hope to keep getting bigger and doing more projects in more areas throughout the city. <laughs> so 13 uh, utility poles in the uh, Elmwood project uh, you know, leaves room for a lot of different uh, st art artistic styles or impressions. Uh, and you, you're someone who's seen all 13 of them. And I wonder if you could talk a little bit about the different characteristics or styles of, of the works. Sure. There's uh, certainly a variety of artists with this project. Uh, we tried to incorporate all elements of the artistic spectrum because you can't just uh, select one for a project like this. So. We have things like uh, <clears throat> those who are involved in uh, things like portraits and, uh, and street scenes. And then there's people who are involved in the uh, street art scene uh, and doing things. Uh, one of the, the street art themes is actually uh, city architecture. So it features uh, a shot of City Hall, which is, of course, a classic Buffalo Art Deco building. So it's awesome to see something like that uh, with a street art medium incorporated so it's a variety that one i saw before they uh, did the stencil of city i saw the stencil of city hall but not uh not the, the finished product yet it's uh it's definitely one of the highlights for this round and so before we go uh we, we go over to our artist in the street interviews uh is there anything any final words you'd like to to add uh so <clears throat> of course this project wouldn't have been uh able to happen without support of you and council member Rivera. Uh, being able to pay these artists for their time just adds further legitimacy to this awesome project that we're doing and uh, of course uh, the support of the neighborhood and uh, Carly Batten the executive director of the Elmwood Village who uh, went above and beyond to make this project a smooth and uh, exciting opportunity. Uh, of course, everyone else who came out and volunteered with community canvases, and uh, we hope to do something like this very soon in other areas of the city. Sounds good. So we'll, now we'll go out and uh, have the opportunity to interview some artists as they were working on their uh, projects, and we'll take a look at that next. We're here on Elmwood Avenue uh, with community canvases for a very exciting project in the Delaware District and into the Niagara District. Uh, we have local artists. We're going to be painting 13 utility boxes from uh, Forest Ave to Summer Ave. And it's a great project. It'll bring vibrancy to the neighborhood, beautification to the neighborhood, and also employ uh, local artists. And we know Buffalo has a, a very healthy arts and cultural community. So this is combining both uh, neighborhood and the arts community. And uh, we're going to go out in the street and talk to some of the artists. We're here with Mary Claire Rivera on the corner of Elmwood and West Delavan, uh, one of the local artists here on Elmwood, uh, painting, turning utility boxes into work, works of art. So if you would like to tell us a little bit about, about your piece. 
Sure. Um, my piece is about Elmwood being the heart of Buffalo. Um, I also like to represent all the arts and um, the vegetation, the just the culture around downtown and on Elmwood is just what I try to represent in my piece. Okay, and uh, how much, uh, what percentage are you finished so far? I'd say probably about 35%. <laughs> okay, so she's got the rest of today and tomorrow to finish this piece, and we encourage people to come on down and see not only this work of art, but the 13 throughout the strip. If you could talk a little bit about you know, the goals of the project and I guess what it, what, what it brings to the neighborhood. Well, of course we hope that it, it tackles the issue of uh, turning tired pieces of infrastructure into something that people enjoy looking at, but it also gives local artists the opportunity to showcase their work, uh, get some recognition, and get to celebrate the neighborhoods they live in. So each of the pieces uh, has a unique flavor that it contributes to the area. And you hit, you know, and, and Elmwood, uh, there's 13 different utility boxes, which means uh, uh, 13 different artists uh, that, are, that are being put to work. And uh, how do you go about the, the process of selecting the artist for the, for the, you know, to do the utility poles? Uh, we've been asking artists to, uh, we issue a, a request for a proposal, and then we allow any artist to uh, submit their drawing. Uh, the important part in making this a legitimate operation is that all the drawings have to be approved by the Buffalo Arts Commission. And uh, once we get the okay from them, it's, uh, it's good to go. So the artists are, are selected by the Arts Commission, and then uh, we go from there. Uh, we're here on... Elmwood and West Utica. West Utica, with another local artist painting a utility box. Uh, we have Elaine O'Toole, and Elaine, if you just want to tell us a little bit about your piece. Well, um, I'm an avid gardener, and I know um, Buffalo is really takes part in the garden walks. So to me, it's near and dear to my heart. Um, I always participate in that, and. Um, um, actually, what's missing from my painting is a bug, and it just reminded me of the Frank Lloyd Wright piece that he that he does with a pattern. So it's not on there yet, but it's the main focal point. So I just thought architecture and our garden walk would be a, a great tie-in. <laughs> you see, there you have it, inspiration live on television. Uh, we thank you for your work. You're very welcome. And, thank you. And we'll move on to the next artist. And how long is, has Community Canvases been up and running now. It's, it seems like a, uh, an overnight success story. I guess we're sort of still in the infancy of our uh, project, but we started in February. Uh, so our first project on Tonawana Street started in August, and now uh, here in September we're doing our second round of it. So it's gaining steam. <laughs> and I, I uh, assume you, you, know, you work with the Elmwood Village Association and the various you know, business group in, uh, in, in, on Tonawana Street. Yes, uh, so having, because our mission is not just covering up graffiti, it's also about community development. It's important to have uh, people and groups within the community who are excited about the project and sort of can guide us in, in a way that makes it uh, make sense for the area. So the Elmwood Village Association was uh, monumental in their importance in this. Okay, we're continuing the, down the Elmwood Strip. We're here on Elmwood and Bryant with uh, Michelle Tucker. And Michelle, why don't you tell us a little bit about your work? Well, um, my work in general is kind of influenced uh, between Japanese manga and also street art. So, you know, what we're trying to do here partially is cover, you know, graffiti and things like that that are commonly perceived as vandalism. But honestly, a lot of my influences come from street art or what would be um, perceived as graffiti but you know, done in a way that's constructive and bright and inspiring. So it's a kind of a mixture of the two. What percentage uh, do you think you've completed so far? How much more do you have to go? Well, um, I started at about one o'clock today and you know, obviously I got the base coat down. There's still a lot to be done on the sides. And then this is a very challenging surface to work with because of how um, grainy it is. So there'll be a lot more layers. Um, I'm hoping to get a lot of it done by like six or seven o'clock today maybe some more tomorrow and uh, hope to have it finished tomorrow okay all right great and uh, we'll move on uh, further south down on wood 
and uh, I was out there uh, on, on a Saturday that they were painting. I, I you know, I know it's it's gone on for uh, a week, and certainly even you know when I was out there, people were stopping by and taking pictures of half completed work. Uh, I know you you've been out there since then. Uh, what kind of feedback have you gotten from uh, the neighbors or the neighborhood? You know, pedestrians on the street. Uh, I wouldn't say that we're surprised, but we're always overwhelmed by the positive response that seems to be uh, unanimous. Everyone is very excited to see uh, pieces of art in their neighborhood uh, with themes they can identify with, and uh, the response has just been amazing. Uh, there's been an, a greater outpouring of support with each uh, successive project. So. I parked right there for like four hours. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm just here to watch you. I'm like, okay. No way. <laughs> yeah. She watched you for that long? It was probably three hours, but it was a long time. No way. Wow. <laughs> just a random person? Yeah, she's like, oh, I'm from Angola. I love the Elmwood Village. I was like, wow. okay. Oh my gosh. Just let me know if I'm getting too close. Yeah. And Channel 2 was here earlier. Oh. Earlier today? Yeah. I told him I think it's a terrible like project and I can't believe you guys funded it. <laughs> <laughs> so what neighborhoods are you guys hitting next? It's uh, looking like it's going to be a uh, hurdle. Oh, cool. And then we're hoping to continue this down Elmwood a little bit. Hurdle's a great neighborhood. Yeah. So we're going to start. We did Tonawanda Street last. Uh, How did that go over? Everyone, everyone was thinking that it was going to be like, these, you know, you don't understand the neighborhood. These people don't want art. And that's that's the thing. I that's mean, what everyone was saying, and everyone loved it. Everyone was stopping and telling how great it was. As you mentioned, uh, uh, I helped fund this along with my colleague, who represents part of the Elmwood Strip, to uh, David Rivera. And, uh, you know, it just seemed like a great project that kind of not only beautifies the neighborhood, uh, but kind of one of those things that makes city living unique and uh, exciting, you know, the, uh, a project such as this, and it was really a, a, a no-brainer, uh, and we were, we were glad to, to help out. And okay, we're here on uh, Elmwood and North for the last stop on the Community Canvas sponsored uh, beautification project of uh, uh, local artists. Uh, designing utility poles, and we're here with Allison Harper. And Allison, if you just want to tell us a little bit about your piece. Um, my piece has got a galaxy background with sort of a geometric textured background, and it's going to have a city hall spray painted and a two-layer stencil over it. So you can actually see city hall in the background down the road, too, so it's sort of cool. So it seems like an ambitious project. Uh, how long, uh, how much more work do you think you have? Um, I've been here since 9 a.m., sort of been working for a while. I probably got three or four more hours to go on it, so. Okay, and this, uh, like I said, this is the last work here, and uh, we'll wrap it up. At, you know, thank Community Canvases, and also Council Member Rivera and the Elmwood Village Association uh, for a project that really is great for the neighborhood and also helps support local artists like Allison. Uh, and you know, Buffalo has such a vibrant local art scene, uh, and it's good to get them out here in the neighborhoods. Thanks. What other areas are you, of the city, are you looking to, or hoping to move into? So there's uh, a lot of areas that Community Canvases is interested in working in, and of course, uh, people can submit ideas, or people who are interested in working with us can certainly get involved, but, uh, you know, neighborhoods that have a, a very unique flavor or feel, whether it's the Grant Street area on the west side, the uh, Little Italy feel of Hurdle, or uh, the, you know, Medical Corridor, which is uh, another area that could potentially use a lot of public art. So there's a lot of possibilities, I guess. I'm sure there are. Okay, great. Why don't you tell us uh, how much more you think you have? You want to just end it there, or you want to? Can we make that into a vine? <laughs> yeah, I hope. Yeah.